Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. So it's been a long time since I uploaded a new video on C++ programming and the last video that we uploaded for the playlist was the concept of pointers and we also saw a program. So in this video tutorial we're going to see an application of pointers and it is known as dynamic memory allocation. So if you don't know what pointers are you, you might want to check out the previous video that we just covered on the theory of pointers so that you better understand how it works and why we need pointers and in this video we are going to discuss about its application. So I'll link the previous video in this descrip description and you can also see a pop-up right there so you can check that out if you haven't watched it and with that being said let's get started. So what is dynamic memory allocation? Now we already know a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable. So basically pointer stores another variable's address and which can be used to manipulate the value stored at that address. So you can see the uses of pointers and you can see that dynamic memory allocation is one of its application. So before understanding the dynamic memory allocation concept, let's take a scenario and let's try to understand when and why dynamic memory allocation is needed. So let's say you've been given a program wherein you want to store five different integer variables in an array. So you already know the number of variables. So in this case, you can use an array because in array, you need to define the size initially or before running the program. But what if the number of variables or number of values that you need to store are going to be taken from the user at runtime. So in that situation, you cannot use an array or because you don't know how many values you need to store. Say for example, you want to store 10 values and since you know it is a smaller number, you already define your array size as 100. But then the 90 different value locations of that array are going to go waste if you predefine an array of size 100. So in such scenarios where we need to take the size of or the number of values to be stored at runtime, dynamic memory allocation comes into picture. So as you can see the last point, DMA allows you to set array size dynamically during runtime rather than at compile time. So this helps when the program doesn't know in advance about the number of items or variable values to be stored. And this can be achieved using pointers. So now let's see the actual implementation and we'll see a program of how DMA or dynamic memory allocation works. So quickly open up your dev C++ or any IDE wherein you run your C++ code. And I recommend you code along with me because that is the best way to learn programming. So as you can see, I've already typed in some piece of code which is always going to be there that is including the header file and using namespace standard and the main function. So this part is always going to be there so I've already typed it out. The topic today is going to be dynamic memory allocation. So let's start. So the program that we're going to code is that the program is going to give you a prompt wherein it will ask you to enter the number of values that you need to store. Then you enter the number of values and then you en enter all those values. So dynamically we'll take the size. So we'll first create a new variable in size. Now we also need a pointer. So we say int ptr int star ptr. So since this is a pointer of integer type, it will only store integer values. Now what we'll do is we'll print out a statement and ask the user to input some values. So we'll say c out enter number of values you want to store, which basically means the size of array. Then the user will enter the size. So we'll take C in and we'll write size. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create an array of that size using this pointer. So this is how you create an array dynamically using pointer. So you have to write PTR, which is the pointer name equal to, you have to create, use the operator new, the type of array that is int and the size. So this is the syntax wherein you create a array of size that is entered by the user and it is going to be of integer type. And this is going to happen dynamically when you run the program. Now you just use a for loop to loop through all the values in the array and take values from the user. So I'll say int i equal to zero, i less than size, i plus plus. Before that we'll have to print a message saying enter all the values of the array. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. I'll say enter values to be stored in the array then in the loop i'll just take c in i'll say ptr and inside that i'll give i which is going to be the iterator inside this loop now that i've taken all the values i just have to print it and show it so again i'll just copy and paste this c out and i'll say values in the array are again print a for loop 
but in this case instead of taking input I'm just going to print out the values so I'll just see out PTR and then escape sequence which is endl so that's about it and let's try to run this code before that we'll have to save this so I'll say control s I'll say dynamic memory hit enter and just go to execute and say compile and run so it will take a couple of seconds and there you go the program ran successfully which means we have not committed any syntax errors so it's first asking enter the number of values you want to store so i'll say i want to store six values it will ask me to enter the values to be stored i'll say one two three four five six and there you go it printed those values so which means that it first stored those values in the array that got created dynamically with the size six and now it is showing those values inside that array so let's try this one more time and we'll give a different size and let's see if it creates another way, uh, array variable dynamically of that size. So in this case it is asking me enter the number of values I want to store. I'll say I want to store three values. Now it's asking me the values. So I'll say four, seven, eight and there you go. It printed those three values which are stored inside the array which got created dynamically with the size three. So this is how dynamic memory allocation can be achieved using the concept of pointers and it is used when we don't know how many number of variables we want to store in an array beforehand. That is we get to know only during run time the number of values that are to be stored. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you understood the concept of dynamic memory allocation and how you can use pointers to achieve DMA and why exactly do we need dynamic memory allocation. So if you have any doubts or comments you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.